Angie at Stampin' with Amore and today I'm sharing another masculine treat box. This could be for a birthday, for Father's Day, but I think it's super adorable. And it's this cute little toolbox. Is that not the cutest? This is not my original idea. I saw it on YouTube and her name was, I think it's Scrapbooking with Me. I'll put it in the description below. Um, but she, I thought this was a, a really, really cute idea. She did it um, a lot different. Um, I kind of simplified her instructions a little bit, but um, she used like a metal foil and put it on cardstock to make it look like it was um, metallic. And so I went ahead and I made one. Look at this one with the um, Stampin' Up foil, the, the foil paper our foil sheets and I thought this was super adorable I was gonna show this it's a little hard to see metallic and the foil on camera and also I ran out of the silver I do have the copper you could probably use the copper or the gold I think that'd be cute too but these are so cute and so um, she used like a dot um, for her embossing but I thought this little sparkle this is our sparkle um, embossing folder and I thought this was perfect for a toolbox so I used that and then I decided you know I'm gonna make one for those who don't have the foil sheets and so I'm using the basic gray I'm using the gray granite that is our, one of our new grays that we got in and I just um, sponged it and I thought it came out super cute it it just it just gave it some character so I thought these were so cute and I really wanted to share it with you so this is what I'm sharing today I put a little velcro on here she had a magnet on hers um, but you can use either do it either way the magnet or the uh, little velcro so this measures four inches by two inches and it is two and a half inches tall maybe two and three quarters tall with the little it's kind of curved here so this is what I'm sharing so let's get started you are going to need a piece of this is our basic gray it's eight and a half by nine so you can use a regular eleven and a half by eight and a half or eleven by eight and a half and um, just cut it to nine inches Okay, so what we're going to do is go ahead and score it. The stamp set that I'm using for this is the Apron of Love. Again, because of the sentiment that it has in there. <laughs> it's this one right here, the Apron of Love. And I love this. This is a great stamp set. I've used it a bunch. You've seen me do different boxes with this and I made a Mother's Day box using the best um, ever mom so we're gonna use the best ever dad this time for this one so let's get scoring here there is a lot of scoring and be sure when you're scoring you start on the nine inch side and the longer ones the longer measurements are going to be on the nine um, inch side so you want most of the measurements on the nine inch side. Did I make that clear? <laughs> it sounds confusing. But anyway, I'll show you here. You're just going to score it at two, at four, at six, at six and a half, at seven, at seven and a half, at eight and at eight and a half so the the most uh, measurements you're going to do on the nine inch side just remember that it's important and then you're going to turn it on the eight and a half inch side and score it at two and a quarter and six and a quarter or two and a quarter on each side whichever is easiest for you and that is the scoring. I hope you can see the scoring on this because there is a bunch of scoring. Can you see those, all those lines there? That's what I'm talking about. Those are all going to be on the nine inch side. 
Okay, so what we're going to do here is we are going to cut this whole area right here off. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. We're going to cut this whole side off. All these pieces keep because we're going to be using some of them again. So that's what it's going to look like. This is the side that has the half inch marks right there. Okay, I'm going to set these aside because I'm going to use those. All right, now we're going to cut up each one of these on the sides. And I'm going to show you a little bit easier way um, to do this. And I've done this on a lot of my boxes, so you know um, by, if you watch me regularly how I do this. So I'm going to, there's the score lines here. I'm going to cut about a half inch from that score line to create our little glue tab. So it's this one right here. And I'm just going to cut in. And then I'm going to do the same on this one. So we're going to cut it right here. Same way. These don't have to be perfect. They're going on the inside of the box. I try to get them pretty close, but we're going to do the same on this side. And then this one also. Save all these little pieces to these little squares because we're going to stamp the sentiment on that. Okay, so it's going to look like this. So you have your glue tabs here on the sides and then you have these. Now I'm going to bring in our new um, uh, uh, detailed trio punch. Oh, I'm going to get all these names one of these days. This is a new punch. It punches... Um, the corners, a circle, and the little corner here is a flower. We're going to round these two sides here. And then we're going to do the same on this side. I'm just going to flip that one over. So these corners are all rounded. I'm going to round that one a little bit better. Okay. And then we're going to round this top. This is the where all the little score marks are. So we're going to just round these two. Just like that. So it's just rounded in all these corners. All right, so we're ready to send it through the big shot with our sparkle embossing folder. And it's a little tricky because this is wider. So what I'm going to do... is you're going to put your embossing folder I'm gonna fold these in these two flaps here and leave these out now it is gonna deboss these but it doesn't matter it looks super cute anyway and I'm gonna just emboss this section right here so we can send it through now that way and it's really tight I need to use all my brute strength for this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so now we have that. And remember this little Stampin' Up needs to be um, on the upside if you want it to emboss. To deboss, you would do it the other way. So we're going to just flip this over. And I'm going to line that to the edge. And then we're going to send this section through. I don't know why this feels so tight. It's usually not this tight. Okay. I don't think I have. No, I don't. I thought maybe I had my extra little thing on there. Okay, so we have it all embossed. So now 
all our pieces are embossed, our sides and our whole top and bottom. So I am going to just go ahead and sharpen these score marks. I don't want to do it too hard because I don't want to lose my embossing I just did. But it does need to be. So it gives it that little round look. If you want to see her version, you can check it out on um, YouTube. That's where I saw it. But I thought it was super clever, and she said that she designed it, so the credit is for hers. <laughs> but I love it. Okay, so we're going to use Fast Fuse here. Use your tear and tape or some Fast Fuse, some really strong adhesive. And then we're going to line these up. See how it's not hard or difficult at all. And it's so cute. And it's hard to find masculine um, things. And I try to create my own. And it's, it's not easy. Okay, so, well, I'm not a big masculine. I can't, I have a hard time with masculine things. Cards as well as projects. I'm getting I'm getting better though. I have to give myself some credit. <laughs> anyway, we're going to now we're going to just like sponge the edges of this. And I'm using the gray granite. It kind of looks, you know, like it gives it that little steel look. And I'm just going along the top of the ridges there. Don't make it perfect because you want it to kind of look a little bit rustic, kind of. And I'm just going down the edges and around these little corners here. I, I think this is super adorable. She did an awesome job designing it. Okay, I think that's it. So now those pieces I told you to save, I'm going to leave that out because I'm going to use it. These are the ones that we cut off the side. You're going to just need, I'm going to use three of these. And we are going to fold them into each other. I didn't even really pay that much attention to how she did hers, but this is how I'm, I'm doing it the one for mine. So I'm going to kind of break up the fibers in this a little bit so it curves. And then I'm just bending the ends here to give it that little handle. Can you see that? And I'm going to use again some sponging. And I'm going to grab some glue dots and use some glue dots to adhere it. You can use whatever. You can use um, wet glue or whatever you like. But this was the easiest way. I mean, if you use wet glue, it'll be a little bit more sturdy, I think. So I'm going to put that on here. And press them down really good. Look how cute that is. This is so adorable. I'm telling you, I love this. All right, so now I'm going to use these um, are the Velcro I'm using. And I got these at Walmart. They're little mini um, thin clear fast, uh, fasteners. I'm going to put one in the center here. I'm going to put another one. I'm going to put it on top of here because I can kind of stick my fingers in here. And it's kind of hard to get it to, but if I stick my fingers in there, I can push these together. There. But look at that. Look at how cute that is. It's so cute. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and use another piece of the... Um, 
basic gray and the gray granite we're going to use to stamp the sentiment best ever dad I love this this is so perfect for this and then I'm going to use the one inch circle punch I've been using these a lot lately I love it and we're going to punch that out and then I'm going to use another one of those little gray pieces and we're going to just punch the scallop circle and this is the one and one eighth inch and I'm again open the gray granite and we're going to sponge the edges of this and I'm sponging this one a little bit darker so you can actually see it behind the oh just ran my finger across my ink pad okay so now we're ready to add a dimensional to the back of this I'm popping it up here and then I'm going to use some fast views on the back you can use whatever adhesive you like on the, on the back some wet glue or whatever and I'm just putting it right there in the corner so that is it is that not so cute I love this and when I saw it I thought I have to share it with my friends because I thought it was so cute and here's the other one if you want to try it with the foil um, the foil sheets it's really really cute too so that is it everyone if you need any supplies you can go to my blog at stampingwithamore.com and shop from my blog I hope you all have a blessed day and I will catch you in the next one I'll see you later bye